Trash Metal Greetings from Rauda. Today's band comes from Spain and it's no newcomer. However, this one has not got the mainstream attention it probably would have deserved. However, at least it has managed its way to a big label and I think this one actually deserves it fully. So let's welcome Angelus Apatrida. Uh, I don't know how to say it properly, but Capareda le Cliatine. So here it goes. It is Spanish trash metal name with a nice cover. And this is actually a ditchy sleeve. So, track list on one side, like I said, released by Century Media. The cover here. And for another time, here as well on the digital. Let's just remove the advertising stuff so we get to. The real deal here. There's not much show on the jewel case. It's just, you know, more uh, the same stuff, which you can actually see on the front. And here is the track list again. CD following the very same idea. See the basket with the pig and all that stuff. So here is the band picture. As you can see, these guys don't look as, as extreme as so many black metal bands, but more, you know, the typical metal band. Inside, we have so small font, it seems like uh, somebody has actually saved money, like, let's not print more pages, people can read those lyrics anyway, or they don't care, maybe they are right, but still it feels kind of odd to see this small font with, you know, a booklet. Anyhow, here are the lyrics, so you can get to know the band. Uh, if you feel like that. So, like I said, this band is all about trash metal. And by trash metal, I mean a kind of a Western or even American trash metal. And there is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing, especially if you are like me on some level about, you know, this kind of uh, mainstream trash metal. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with, you know, underground or anything like that. But at least my favorites just happen to include bands like Anthrax, Metallica, and of course Slayer, my number one pet favorite. So, Angelus Apatrida is all about, you know, creating that Western, that American sound with their music. Uh, I'm not expert on anything, and even less with bands like Megadeth, but at least my colleagues have been comparing this band previous work to Megadeth, and I could pretty much agree, there are lots of similarities how Dave Mustaine and the group have been creating their trash metal, you know, with their albums. And it can be heard on this album as well. Also, bands like Exodus are something that could be really easily to be compared to these Spanish bands music. And I guess these bands could, you know, serve as kind of a recommendation letter in the terms of what kind of trash metal these guys are playing. So, modern, melodic, and kind of a versatile. So, not just, you know, those typical fast tempo, checking riffs and all that stuff, you know, a little bit technicality, but also, you know, easier parts, more melodies, more even clean singing, but still having the kind of intensity and the kind of a songs that, you know, you just, you know, take you to move and you know bang your head and you know whatever and meanwhile this album is not gonna make it to the classic series i mean i have lots of doubts that this will actually be remembered in 10 or 20 years as a like a big trash classic these guys still know what they are doing from everything you know from you know production to vocals to just you know songwriting and uh, single riffs everything falls in place and this is something that is very enjoyable or easy to, to be, you know, enjoyed. So lots of good stuff here when it comes to being a trash metal album, especially from Spain, which is not, then again, known for big metal names in basically any genre. I mean, it's not my attention to slander or, you know, be nasty about, you know, Spanish scene or anything like that. But I mean, come on how many big names there are in metal that come from Spain. Exactly. 
not too many to worth listening to. But this one is actually something that for me is kind of a new band and I find this album very likable. It's not a great album because there are no simple killer songs that you would, you know, hear on a radio channel or, you know, see on big stage like stadiums and whatnot, you know, in the same way that you probably would like with Metallic, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Slayer, Anthrax, or, you know, anything those traditional heavier trash metal names. But still, even that being said, this album is quite powerful. And it's, like I said, it's enjoyable. There are lots of good riffs, some nice details. It's not overly technical, but it's way more than just, you know, boneheaded, simple checking riffs and, you know, creating that kind of a copycat basic idea of trash metal. So, lots of promise with this one. And at least, in my opinion, this album delivers what are even more than I would be expecting. And at least now I would like to see this band on stage as well, because in my opinion, and I like a lot of old trash metal, uh, there are not too many bands which are active in that field. So when I get a CD like this one, with you know, just good production, great singing, nice riffs and everything, you know, being there together to create this whole good album, I think it's just a reason to celebrate. That's just something not to miss, really. That is, if you are a trash metal fan in the first place. So, if you're like me and this band is a new thing to you, go check it out and who knows, maybe you will find something really nice Spanish metal to listen to. And if you don't like trash metal, then this won't be your cup of tea. But at least give the chance if you have any trash trashiness in your soul. That's all I got to say really. Nice album, nice cover, nice packaging. As always, comments, questions, random ones, box below and see you soon with more Rauta review. Cheers!